Hello, this is John Van Meter with Armadino, and I would like to spend a couple of minutes to talk a little bit about Microsoft Dynamics AX for the high-tech fabulous industries. And so I'm going to cover a brief presentation on supply chain best practices, talking about integration in a fabulous semiconductor uh, business model. So in a traditional manufacturing supply chain, you really um, are accustomed to being able to track your uh, raw materials, your production work and process, as well as your finished goods, sort of in the four walls of your business uh, environment. But when you move to more of an outsourced model, that becomes, you know, what's often referred to as a black box, or, you know, there's just a, a straight lack of visibility into, you know, what's going on outside of your four walls. So in the outsourced model around Fabulous, you have your raw materials, which are uh, purchased from a wafer fab, and then you have your work in process, which is um, the production process steps that occur at your contract manufacturer. And then once you've you know, completed those goods and you move them on to a, a distributor, um, those finished goods you, you know, are going to be stored in another location. So at each point in time, you'll purchase and own the raw materials as you receive them from your wafer fab, and they'll store them in what's called a dye bank on hand at that location. And then as the production or the process manufacturing occurs to the contract manufacturer, uh, you as the you know brand owner still own the the raw materials. You still own the goods in process. Um, so that's that's something that you need to track as if you were owning them. And then once those are completed into finished goods uh, and sold off to a distributor or a 3PL, oftentimes uh, the company either owns them or can't recognize revenue until they sell through the distributor. So being able to track that inventory is still important. Uh, the other key part here is that, you know, there's long lead times, you know, long-term planning that's required um, as the wafer fab, that raw material purchase is, you know, an 8 to 12 week process to produce it. Um, so from the, the time that you commit an order to the time that you receive it, it, it can take, you know, up to three months there. And then once the uh, products are, you know, ready to go and, and sent off to the subcontractor for uh, build out of whatever that finished good product should be, um, that could be a one to four week process as well, and there's a degree of variability in there. Um, but the key there is once you have your uh, information from your customer, you have a forecast or you've you know, designed your product into uh, a finished good and you know an end item, and um, you have a, a general run rate of how many cell phones are going to be you know built over the course of the next 12 months, uh, you have an idea of you know, the forecast for the orders. And once the uh, the orders do come in, we call that demand or backlog, uh, then we need to be able to fulfill against those. So some of the supply chain integration uh, aspects here are uh, the forecast and the order on the demand side, as well as uh, the purchase order, the purchase order schedule of commitments and the ship notifications on the supply side. So that's the first set of integrations that are important to have in place. Uh, the next set of... Uh, integrations is really focused around logistics tracking, and that's because it's important for the brand owner uh, to ultimately be able to trace goods as they go through the, the um, custody of the, of the materials all the way from cradle to grave. So really um, identifying where on the you know where the products are sourced from, uh, you know the value of the products that are in transit when they are received, and you know having that level of detail. Uh, helps plan uh, accordingly, you know, being able to track lead times when you expect product to be available to build uh, out at your contract manufacturers, etc. cetera. Uh, really, the third set of integrations here is around being able to track your work in process. So um, being able to determine which raw material, you know, wafer lots should be started in the production, um, being able to have purchase orders, service purchase orders against the services that will be performed uh, by your contract manufacturer, so assembly, test, you know, packaging, um, whatever those you know services are that you pay for, um, being able to have those such that when you receive feedback from from the production process itself, you're able to match the production steps to the service purchase orders and track not only the cost but the uh, progress of the production as it goes through, and then of course being able to receive into inventory your finished goods um, as they move out of the uh, the process 
and into your finished goods location. So um, all of that, you know, being able to match that and track it across to work order and have real-time integration gives you that visibility that you otherwise would lack um, in a traditional outsourcing model. So tr tracking the full raw materials, whip, and finished goods as they go through that uh, production process. So the key to making this all work is understanding that, you know, it, it isn't effective to just take a, a whip snapshot or, you know, where are inventory balances in the chain. You really need to think more in terms of a transactional work in process. So um, being, un being able to understand starts and stops, work instructions, you know, where, you, where you're at in the cycle, um, shipments and receipts, as opposed to just snapshots. And in doing all that, you're able to synchronize your inventory and financials, uh, get visibility into your errors and yield loss, and be able to track the full lot lineage and traceability of the products as they go through the production cycle. Uh, the other, you know, key benefit there is that, um, you know, by having all that degree of lead time traceability and understanding um, where things are at in the chain, you're able to achieve much greater planning accuracy. So if you have any questions, here's our contact information. Um, look forward to speaking with you. Thanks.